What's up, beardsmen, beard ladies, non bearded people, everyone? What's up, internet? I'm Clayton Cook, and welcome to another video from Beard Brand. This week, we're busting myths. I'm gonna talk about the five biggest beard myths and why they're not true. Working here at Beard Brand, I get all kinds of beard knowledge and beard questions and beard concerns, and I'm gonna talk to you about the five biggest myths involving beards. Myth number one, beards are too hot for the summer. Now this totally makes sense. Beards are too hot for the summer. It's like you got a big wool scarf on your face. They help keep you warm during the winter, but it's a little counterintuitive. Uh, don't think of a beard as being a scarf. Think of a beard as more of a shield on your face. Big part of that is the beard's gonna reflect some of the UV rays and it's gonna help block the sun from warming up your face from getting a sunburn. The beard also works as kind of this evaporative cooling thing. It's gonna help lock in the sweat as it's uh, as your sweat starts to evaporate and you get a little breeze through there and it's gonna actually help cool your face down. So it turns out beards are doing the opposite. They're gonna help keep your face cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Beard myth number two, itchy beards. Oh, the itch, it itches so much. So many people ask me that, doesn't that beard itch? And maybe it itches when you hug me and rub my cheek, but it doesn't itch my cheek myself. Um, now while it might be true when you're in the early stages of beard growth, stubble can be a little itchy, but that's stubble, not really a beard. And it's a thing that's gonna just last about a week or two, sometimes even less. Some people don't even have itchy stubble. Part of the way to combat that is just beard oil. Uh, we talk about beard oil a lot here. Just start using beard oil right when you start growing your beard. That's gonna help soften and moisturize the hair and the skin as well. It's gonna relieve you of a lot of irritation. It's gonna be the most comfortable way to grow a beard. Now, if you have an itchy beard when your beard's fully grown out, that issue is more with the skin being dry and not so much with the beard. So again, you just need some beard oil, some wash, keep this thing nice and moisturized. Ugh, it's not gonna itch. The third beard myth, that your beard should grow all at the same length and a uniform length. No, it's ridiculous. Uh, different parts of your beard are gonna grow at different lengths, different times. Uh, typically the cheek is gonna grow a little slower than say the chin or like along the jawline. Um, a lot of people early in their beard growing journey they won't, they won't like how uneven it's growing in, and so they get a couple of weeks in, maybe two or three weeks in, and they're, they're done with it. They shave it off because it doesn't look good. It's a mistake, guys. You need to give your beard a few months, two or three months to really fully grow in. Because your beard, not everything's gonna grow at the same length. Some's gonna come in quicker than others. Some's gonna come in thicker. So you really wanna give it a few months to really see what you're working in. And then to have that nice, even uniform cut, once you've grown it out, you can go back in trim off some of those longer hairs so they're matching the shorter hairs, they're gonna be looking great. So don't expect it all to grow in the same length at the same time, okay? We don't all look like sexy Spartans in week two. Beard myth number four, the best beard is a full beard. This is something that I noticed in the comments section or with emails I get regarding people's beards and how they're growing in or we're kind of, we're, we're measuring beards and Boy, do the guys with the big, full, long, ZZ top, mainly beards think they have the best ones. And they do have some great beards. But the best beard is not a full beard. The best beard is the beard that you love. Not everybody wants a full beard. Some people just want to rock a mustache. Some people just want a goatee. Some people want sideburns. Some people want mustache that grows into sideburns. Some guys like long beards. Some guys like short beards. Some guys like beards that they can grow in different directions and braid into Viking beards. It doesn't matter. Uh, everyone's beard is gonna grow different. No two beards were created equal, unless you're biological twins and you grow the exact same beard, then maybe they're created equal. But everyone has a different face, everyone has a different beard, a different style, a different look they're going for. So the best beard is really whatever beard makes you feel the most confident, the most comfortable, and the happiest with how you look. Beard myth number five, beards are dirty. This is not true at all. It seems to make sense like the others. It's very, with a beard, it's dirty, right? It's gonna catch all this nasty stuff. It's, it's, it's got fungus in it. There was some internet article about how beards collect fecal matter. You got poop in your beard. Well, guess what? You got poop in your head hair and your arm hair and on your clothes and probably on your toothbrush and 
Just whatever else you carry in your bathroom, because poop's everywhere in your bathroom air. So don't worry about it. Everything's dirty. Your beard's dirty, your hair's dirty. If anything, a beard is just gonna help filter out some of that stuff and it's gonna be healthier and cleaner for you because you're not breathing in all the poop it's getting stuck in your beard. And maybe we don't wanna talk about that because that's gross, so just wash it. Just wash your beard. If you wash your beard regularly, like you're washing your hair, or you're washing your teeth, or you're washing your clothes, you're gonna keep it clean and healthy and nice. So beards aren't any dirtier than anything else. We're humans, everything's gross and dirty, but we clean it and we wash it. That's what washing stuff is for. So get some beard wash, some beard softener, some beard oil, shampoo it in the shower, get it nice and clean, and you don't have a dirty beard. You have a clean beard. Don't listen to those people, it's a clean beard. Just take a shower. So that's it, folks. That's gonna wrap up our five beard myths that we've busted, debunked, gotten rid of. Get them out of here. We don't need those beard myths anymore. No more misinformation. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave some comments down below. Let us know some of the other misconceptions or beard myths that you may come across, things that frustrate you. Be sure to hit click subscribe, like. Give me all the good. Give me all the YouTube love, people. And be sure to tune in next week when we discuss how to build your beard into a fully functioning bird sanctuary.